Central Florida is ready to open this one up as they line up for the opening kick. He really got a hold of that kick. Tackle made at the 21. Now the offense gets ready to take their first crack at it. Second down. He's taken down at the 41. He got the ball and he was off like a shot. This guy has some big time speed. Yard line. First down. And he makes it out to about the 44 yard line. That's good for three yards. That makes it second and eight. Gets to about the 44 yard line. Third down now, and they need to get it inside the 49. Complete, brought down, nothing doing. The defense was ready for that pass and catch, and they did a good job to hold them for such a short game. That'll bring up fourth and five. The punting team's got to give their kickers some time. And this one is a beauty. This punt goes over the goal line, and this will be a touchback. The Knights' offense basically predicated on what this kid can do. The thing I love about this guy, Brad, is, is just the intangibles that he brings to the table. We've been seeing this guy make plays over the weeks, but the thing that I really recognize is his ability to really lead this football team. When things are going well, he's patting everybody on the back. When things are not going well, he's trying to pick them back up and getting them ready to go. So not only does he physically have the tools, but also I really love the way he approaches the game. From their own 24-yard line, second down. Green, 15. Caught and out of bounds after a short game. They get about seven yards on the pass and pick up a first down. And how about the poise of this quarterback to locate his receiver, pass the sticks, and get him the ball? That was a great throw. And I think it was the quick throw by the quarterback that fouled up the defense on that one. Gets it off as he's hit, completes. What a throw for a big game. That is a great example of the quarterback seeing the whole field and finding the guy who had the best chance of making a catch. So it's second down and about two yards to go. Four down, four down. Twelve's the mic. Gets it out quickly. He's at midfield. He's pushed out of bounds at about the 43-yard line. He showed some excellent moves out there, more than you usually expect from a tight end. That was a big gain, and this offense keeps humming along. at about the 45. By the time the running back here got the football, he's looking up and he's got a couple defensive linemen closing in on him because they were able to slip off of their blocks. Really, there's nothing he could do at all there. That was more of a miscommunication and just getting overmatched up front by the offensive line. Second down, about 12 yards to go. Ball on the 45. Nothing gained on the play. It's a nice catch by the junior wide receiver, but an even better effort by the defense to keep him from going anywhere. Right 
These fans are showing you why teams hate to come here, folks. You know, at that point, I think, Brad, the quarterback's just better off just taking a sack. You have to be very careful as you're feeling pressure to throw the ball just to throw the ball. If you feel like you're not going to be able to make a play and the defense got you, just give up on that play and get ready for the next down. And it goes out of bounds at the five-yard line. And so far, it's been totally even. In close games like this, every possession is likely to matter. And he carries the ball for a nice game. That's good for a of four yards. That makes it six. It's second and six. Ball on the nine-yard line. Tackled at the 11-yard line. The running back gets two on the carry. Not a good spot to have to punt from either. Oh, excellent punt. Tackle at the 45 yard line. Florida is loving this crowd support and they get it week in and week out. Well, that's one thing they can count on every single time they play in this stadium is creating an environment that's gonna allow them to play with an edge on defense. Great start to this game. Now let's see if they can just continue that. This is a fun game and I think we're gonna see a lot of interesting football before it's over. And he's tackled at the 33-yard line. If you can consistently run effectively like this, it'll force the defense to pay more attention to the run, and that creates chances in the play-action passing game. First down, 10 to go. Ball on the 33. Easy, Blair! Motion, motion! Blair, go! And he just gets rid of it. The defense got some pressure and forced a bad pass. I think they've been a little bit more aggressive here with their pass rush, and that time it paid off with an incompletion. Mike 12. Mike 12. Here we go, here we go, here we go. Green 9. Bullshit. Green 9. Go! He's got it with room to run. He gets hit out of bounds right around the 10-yard line. So at the end of one, no score here. That makes it first and 10. And we're ready for more football here in quarter number two. And they make the stop around the 12 yard line. So the halfback loses about two on the run. That is a textbook tackle right there. He leveled his shoulders and just put his whole body weight behind that one. Great hit. From the 12 yard line, it's second down. And they'll run him again. Picks up the fumble. And look at the big guy go. So the offense turns over the pigskin. The ball carrier here was just careless in handling the ball. And a great awareness by the defense to jump on. been like a couple of fighters feeling each other out so far. Let's see if they start to open it up a little bit more now. He's on the run. And he's tackled after positive yardage. They need about three yards to get the first here on second down. Pulls 
reels it in, and that's a first down. Second and seven. Ball on the 14. Mike 41. Mike 41. Here we go. Here he goes. Touchdown, Gators. He just put his eyes on that end zone and ran with some real purpose there. He tacks on the extra point. A four play, 28 yard drive, and it's good for seven points. Florida kicked this one off. And he got all of this one. Great kick. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. Brad, everywhere we go when we travel all over the country, people want to talk about offense. Oh, the spread, or the pistol, and hurry up tempo offense and points. It's nice to watch a team that prides itself on playing great defense. And when it's all said and done, the teams that advance and get to the important road games and do well in the postseason are teams that have this kind of defense. It could be that the offensive coordinator is trying to lure the secondary in to play more press coverage. And then they'll try to take advantage by going deep. Those safeties better be ready. From their own 28-yard line, it's second down. They'll work the left side. He makes it to the 28-yard line. The crowd really making it difficult. Bring him down around the 41 yard line. First down. First down, 10 yards to go. Ball on their own 41. Four down, four down. Mike 12. They'll give it off here. He's at midfield. And he's taken down around the 46 yard line. That makes it first and 10. Let's go deep. Strike to the receiver, and down he goes at the 29-yard line. First down. First and ten. Ball on the 29. Four down, four down. Mike 12. Mike 12. Green nine. Green nine. Green 15. Tackle made around the 20-yard line. The Knights taking their first time out of the half. This time they've got to be thinking, hold on to the football after that last fumble, the last trip in the red zone. Nice run to the outside. So the tailback's going to come away with a first down on the play. If you can consistently get four or five yards at a pop, you know that you're going to have a functioning offense. It's a great tackle at the 15. Pick up of a yard for the tailback. Good stop there by the freshman. You got to be careful with this offensive attack because one missed tackle could mean trouble. From the 15 yard line, second down. And he just gets rid of it. Good job here by the defense. If you let this quarterback set and throw, he'll kill you all game. But they got excellent pressure on that play. This is the 10th play of this drive. Here we go, here we go, here we go. Three, nine. Motion, 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 motion. Three, nine. And he is drilled at the 23-yard line. That's a loss of 80 yards. That makes it 
fourth and one. After the sack, it's now fourth and long. Looks like he flinched down there on the line. False start, start offense. offense. Maybe he got the cadence wrong coming out of the huddle. The coaches Still have a low down. threshold for mistakes like that. Fourth down and a ways to go after the penalty. It has the distance, and he just drilled it from long range. Central Florida to kick. Excellent kick. Well, this one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. Right now, this game's got all the makings of maybe being a nail biter. Yeah, this game just feels like it's going to go well into the second half, probably into the fourth quarter. You almost have a feel that maybe one of the defenses may have to score a touchdown to be able to win this game. Momentum swings have been fairly even. And with so little separation, this game can be drastically changed. Pressure coming, and the ball is loose. Defense looking for another sack in this second down and long situation. Florida is up by four. Set! Green 95! Green, 95! Makes it out to maybe the 19-yard line. So they get about three on the draw. Three on the play. That'll bring up third and long. We've still got a half of football remaining. The Gators lead it by four. Glad to have you with us in the studio for the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 Halftime Show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. Reese Davis and David Pollock here completely locked in on that first half. Things are straight defensive out there right now. David, what do these two offenses have to do to open this game up? Well, it's it's fun to watch because obviously I'm a defensive guy and I enjoy this, but when, you're, when your defense is executed at that kind of level, the offense has to be precise. I mean, you got to throw it in tight windows. You got to be willing to take some chances that you normally wouldn't have. How about some trick plays, baby? I mean, when you're losing the battle in the trenches, you got to find some way to kind of even it out. Maybe get a little bit more options, some reverses, some double passes, something to loosen up this defense. Because right now, defenses are just winning out. David and I will stay locked in on everything going on in college football. We're going to wrap it up here in the studio. Just about time to get you out to your second half. Brad and Kirk, ready with a call. Welcome back, everybody. Second half action about to begin. Sends it sailing downfield. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. There's still plenty of time to keep running their offense as usual here. I don't think they need to feel any anxiety about trailing. Knocked out of bounds at the 29. Second and six coming up here. Ball on the 29. Mike 12, Mike 12. Here we go, here we go, here we go. He's taken down at about the 37 yard line. First down. Takes it up the middle for a nice run. So it's second down now, and they need about four yards to pick up the first. 
Check nine, check nine. Mike 12. Mike 12. Black, Black five. Black six. <laughs> nice run there. That's good enough to pick up the first down. He took advantage of a powerful effort by his offensive line to turn that into a pretty big run. He's out of bounds at the 46. That makes it second and six. Second and six. Ball on the 46. They'll give it off here. And he makes it out to about the 44-yard line. just love this scenario. He had his man one-on-one -on, -one on a corner route versus man coverage, and you just saw it. It results in an easy first down. From the 30-yard line, first down. And they got him for a loss. When this guy gets his arms around a ball carrier, I don't care who it is. He's not getting away. It's the ninth play of the drive. Quick to an open man, he dropped it. Third down again. That'll make it third and 13. Let's go, defense. Our time. Red two. Yellow go. three. And they bring him down for a sack on the play. See if he aims for the sideline and tries to get this thing down deep in their own territory. So this one goes into the end zone, and that'll be a touchback. Well, the guys are chomping at the bit down there, waiting for the game to start back up. Florida holds a four-point lead. Tackle around the 16-yard line. That is a loss of four yards. That makes it second and 14. From their own 16-yard line, second down. Four down, four down. Mike 41, you gotta wedge that, huh? Ready, green 90, green 90. Lost the motion. And he throws it away. Brad, I just think this quarterback's got to do a much better job of being able to read that defense and make quicker decisions. And especially when the defense starts to get pressure, you've got to either get rid of that football or check it down or take off and run with it. Tosses out to the tailback on the screen. And he tackles him hard at the 34. From their own 34-yard line, it's first down. And he has it on the corner. He makes it to the 35-yard line. Gain of one on the play. That makes it second and eight. Throws this one away. And they'll look to convert here on another third down. Three down, three down. Three down. Mike 41. Mike Ready. Red 68. Red 68. Sets up a screen. Tailback's got it. He's tackled at about the 41. Number 37 makes the tackle at the 41 yard line. That brings up fourth and three. Florida is up four. 
He puts it away, and it's a great kick. He takes it in at the 14. They'll bring him down at the 21-yard line. This deficit can be easily overcome, sure. But they have to be thinking if they don't get something going on this series, the burden is going to be felt by their defense. And he's tackled right around the 22-yard line. Second and nine coming up here. Ball on the 22. Mike 12, Mike 12. Got it. Throws in the middle. And he hits him hard at the 33. Number 15 on the tackle at the 33 yard line. Tight right, tight right. That makes it first and 10. Check the outs up there. Four down, four down. 12 the play. And two. out in the open. And they make the stop at the 37. Call it a game of 30 yards. First down. So after the big pass play, we've got a first down. Two times, two times. Going for it all to the end zone. In the air, it's intercepted. Florida is up by four. He's scrambling. And he's level at the 21. That's, That's a gain, a gain of, one of one on the play. play. That, that brings, brings up second, second and nine. <laughs> second down and nine to go. Ball on the 21. It's been a defensive masterpiece through three. Who'll draw up points in the final quarter? Florida is up by four. Great three quarters of action, tight ball game, and now it's the fourth quarter, and this will decide it. Scrambling around. Now he's going to run and watch out. He's to the 40, and they push him out at the 42. two-yard line. First down. Makes it out to about the 50. That makes it second and two. They're packed in tight on the line. Straight ahead on the given. There's nowhere to run. So it's third down now, and they're going to need about four. Four down, four down. Mike 41, Mike 41. Ready! Little handoff. Brought down at the 40. Great job here converting and keeping this defense on the field. They're getting very tired. Florida holds a four-point lead. He's knocked out of bounds right around the 28-yard line. He kept it himself and picked up a good-looking first down. Great execution and a good decision there by the quarterback. And this is the eighth play of the drive. He makes his way to about the 18. So it's second down, and they're only about a foot away from picking up the first down. Get 
gets to about the 17 yard line. Here's play number 10 on the drive. From the 12 yard line, second down. Two minutes in the game. He's on the run, and down he goes around the 11-yard line. So the quarterback scrambles for about a yard. They're going to go for the easy three here. The kick is up, and it's through the uprights. They line up to kick this one away. Nice kick, plenty of distance. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. The Knights have got to be just a little bit careful that they lean too much on a star player here in this stage of the game. Yeah, but having a quarterback that understands what this defense wants to try to do to slow this offense down is very, very important. Now he's just got to stay calm, make good decisions, and move his offense down the field. Fires that quickly to the tailback. Tackle made at the 25-yard line. Steps out of bounds at about the 33-yard line. It's third down, and they're about two yards shy of the sticks. Really one of the very tough places to play in college football, and it's no different today. He's gobbled up in the backfield. Talk about offense all you want, and they were good today, but the defense was better. They come up with a play of the day, and that'll lead to the victory. They picked up three points on their last possession, and they've got great field position to work from here. Just over a minute in the fourth quarter. Straight up the middle, and he'll lose yardage. Well, I think it's safe to say the defense had his number on that one. It can be very frustrating for a running back when he's stopped before he even gets going. They come out in a goal line set. They'll wrestle him down in the backfield. Good job by the defense to overpower the offensive line and drop the back for a loss. Third down, and they need to get it to the 15. Screen pass. He's got his half back. They'll bring him down at about the 23-yard line. Call it a gain of four yards. That, that brings, brings up fourth, fourth and seven. Kicks up, and he got it. 
looks like they're ready for the kick. He just drills this one. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. The Gators have really been all over the place. They're playing like a defense possessed. I love to watch a defense just pin its ears back and just fly to the football. They are playing with a reckless attitude, and it's really paid off because it's set up their offense to be able to score points. Last time out, the offense wasn't able to convert on fourth down. You know, the last time this offense was out on the field, they went for it on fourth down, Brad, and they came up short. I think as an offensive coordinator and a play caller, you've got to be very selective on when to go for it and when maybe to just punt the ball and change the field position. And he stops the clock with a spike. From their own 17-yard line, third down. Listen to this place. He's wrapped up for the sack. The Knights, I'm sure, are secure in the knowledge that despite this setback today, they still have one of the best players in the country. Well, this is a devastating loss, but it's one that they're going to have to put behind them. And, and as you said, they still have one of the best players in the country. They don't need to deviate their plan, get back to really what they know, and that's getting the ball to their star player. And next week, I'm sure they'll be fine. That brings this broadcast to a close. For EA Sports and Kirk Herb Street, I'm Brad Nessler. We'll see you soon for another edition of NCAA Football 14.